Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And today we're going to talk about food, stuff to eat, things that you consume when you are hungry. And of course, we get hungry all the time because we're working and studying and stuff like that. So my goodness, I'm hungry. I'm going to go to the restaurant, the night market. You name it, I'm hungry. I want to stuff my face full of food. And I guess there are different kinds of food that we can talk about. We can talk about fruit and vegetables. We're actually talking about idioms, guys. Kind of fun ways to get your point across. But instead of just using what you would consider like normal speech, you're going to throw either a fruit or a banana in, and、uh, you're going to come away looking like you know some cool idioms. We actually use these idioms quite frequently in everyday speech. So. We're going to spend two days on looking at some of these very popular idioms and how you might use them. I think our author's really done a great job in、uh, kind of describing how they are used and what they mean, and we'll throw in some additional usages. So stay tuned. First of all, though, we're going to read through day one. Have you ever gone bananas for a tasty-looking idiom? There are numerous fruit and vegetable-related sayings in the English language. Here are just a few to arouse your appetite. Go bananas! To go bananas means to go crazy, either with fury or enthusiasm. You'd go bananas if a car drove by and soaked you with water from a puddle, but you could also go bananas for your favorite sports team. It's believed this idiom evolved from "go ape," which has an identical meaning. Given the association between apes and bananas, this seems likely, but the origins of the latter phrase, which appeared in the 1950s, are unclear. Top banana. If you're the top banana, you are the best of the bunch. You're superior to your fellows in some aspect, such as being the best student in a class. Or the top salesperson on your team. This idiom dates back to a comedy performance from the 1950s, in which three comedians had to share two bananas. The boss of the sketch was Top Banana, while the straight man who served him in the routine was Second Banana. The poor third performer got nothing at all. Buy a lemon. This is something you definitely want to avoid doing. Lemon is a slang term for something unsatisfactory, inferior, or worthless. This descriptive phrase comes from slot machines, simple gambling machines that spin wheels and reward players when the pictures they display match up. Many of these pictures are fruits, and lemons are the least valuable fruit in the game. Okay, guys, let's take a look at some of these today. We're going to focus in on fruits, of course. Now, here we go with、uh, just kind of the intro. Have you ever gone bananas for a tasty-looking idiom? There are numerous fruit and vegetable-related sayings in the English language. Look there at what our author did. This is frequently what we do when we have hyphenated words, and they're not. Always together. So we've got fruit-related sayings, and we have vegetable-related sayings. And because in English we hate repeating words so much, which is very unlike Chinese writing. So you just have to get that difference in your head.、Um, we just hate to repeat words. So fruit hyphen actually is tied to the related. You see there that follows the vegetable. So fruit. Hyphen and vegetable-related sayings. Instead of writing, there are numer numerous fruit-related and vegetable-related sayings. We don't do that, so that's why it looks kind of weird. That's the explanation there. Then on to the next sentence. Here are just a few to arouse your appetite. Your appetite is that feeling you get. When your mouth start, starts to water, maybe you're smelling something that really smells good, or you see something that that looks good, and you want to eat it. That gets your appetite going. An appetite is when you want to eat. We weren't necessarily hungry. If you arouse your appetite to arouse something, it's kind of just to wake it up, so that、uh, it's actually operational. It's functioning. So if you want to arouse your appetite. 
Sometimes、uh, just going to the night market will do it for me. Here we're gonna go right into some of these fruit idioms. The first one, Tom, is go bananas. Ah,、uh, go bananas! Right, of course, bananas are those yellow fruit. Uh, fruits, you know those that that yellow fruit, I guess I should say,、uh, that grows on <laughs> banana palms. Okay,、yeah. they're quite common here in Taiwan. There are many different varieties of bananas, but、uh, I think the most common kind of banana is kind of the long and skinny one, and not the short and fat one. That's really sweet. But yeah, go bananas. What does that mean? We actually opened our lesson with that phrase. Have you ever gone bananas? For a tasty-looking idiom, well, to go bananas means to go crazy, either with fury or enthusiasm. I'm not sure I would use this phrase to say someone has totally lost it. They are crazy. They should go see a psychologist. It kind of means you're just really wildly enthusiastic for something、uh, to the point of actually seeming like you're crazy, or you're really mad. So. It depends on the situation. Seems kind of weird that we would use the same idiom for really kind of opposite、uh, emotions. Either being really, really excited about something or really mad about something.、Um, that's what that word "fury" means. If you are、uh, experiencing fury, which is a noun, it means you're furious. You're really, really angry, really mad. So we use bananas though a lot of times to talk about somebody who's just really, really excited about something, very enthusiastic about something. For me, that would be my Yankees.、Uh, I love the Yankees baseball team. I kind of go bananas when I get to go to a game. Enthusiasm is that feeling that you get.、Uh, this is the noun form. Um, of course, the adjective is to be enthusiastic. Ooh, I'm really enthusiastic about things I love to do. Enthusiasm is intense enjoyment,、uh, intense interest in something. You love it, love it, love it. So you can go bananas when you're talking about something you love to do, or even hanging out with your best friends. Sometimes y'all just go bananas and have a great weekend together. You certainly do. And、uh, all this time, I keep thinking of another related idiom, which is to go nuts. Uh-huh. Uh huh. That's basically the same meaning. Nuts, of course, refer to peanuts and、uh, walnuts and almonds and pistachios and stuff like that. To us, they're all considered nuts. So yeah, to go nuts. I think nuts are. Actually, a fruit as well. So we've got bananas, we've got nuts. You're going crazy, you're going wild with en- enthusiasm, or you are enthusiastic about something. Now let's、uh, let's mention some examples here. You'd go bananas if a car drove by and soaked you with water from a puddle. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that happened to me many years <laughs> ago. I was walking in Sindian and it was raining, and somebody, yes, indeed, drove through a puddle, which is、uh, a, a little bit. Of water that's、uh, gathered, or usually、uh, after a big rain, yeah, yeah accumulated puddle, on the street or、pool. something. So you got to watch out for that. And I got soaked with water. <sighs> Uh, so I was、uh, screaming, "What did you do that for? Why don't you watch where you're going, you idiot? Don't you know how to drive?" That would be to go crazy or to go bananas because I got soaked from water from a puddle, soaked by water from a puddle. But you could also go bananas for your favorite sports team if you're a big fan of the OG.、Oh, what teams do they have now? They're no, they're no longer the Brother Elephants. They're called something else now. But let's just say you are a fan of the Brothers baseball team. You can go bananas for. For them, if you go to their game, you can scream, you can sing songs, you can chant, etc. You are going nuts. You are going bananas for your favorite team. Okay, so it's also believed that this idiom evolved from "go ape," which is an expression you could also use, which has an identical meaning. I have heard this. I don't use "go ape."、Uh, myself, I would use probably "go bananas" or "go nuts," as Tom. Also、uh, pitched in there. If you evolve something or evolves, if something evolves, it just changes slowly over time. So it's believed that this idiom or this phrase has changed slowly over time. When it used to be "go ape," and it says here it has an identical meaning. Identical just means exactly the same. So if you know what an ape is, it's a quite a big、uh, creature that lives in the jungle. 
and they're often associated、uh, with bananas, or you know, monkeys, bananas, apes, bananas, gorillas, bananas. We just associate them with bananas. So, given the association or the connection between apes and bananas, this seems likely. But sometimes, you know what? The origins or where we actually got a phrase or a word from originally is. Not always clear. People have different ideas and different theories, but the origins of the latter phrase, meaning "go ape,"、uh, appeared in the 1950s. We don't know where that originally came from. Very interesting.、Uh, there is a fun website just for you out there that like to look these things up. You can look up the origins of idioms. I think it's a British、uh, website that that puts these together. It's kind of interesting. Indeed. So we're presenting some examples to you today、uh, of these idioms from fruit and vegetables. But of course, there are many more. We just don't have time to talk about all of them in today's program. We hope we have inspired you to、uh, do some research on your own. And we'll continue talking about、uh, phrases with the word banana and with a lemon in just a couple of seconds. But we're going to take a break right now and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. 今天我们要看的是第一单元。好，这个单元非常的有趣。我们知道英文里面呢有很多的片语，有一类的片语呢是跟蔬菜水果有关系的。好，我们就来学一学。首先我们看到呢，其实这个标题也很有趣哦。你可以让你的说话内容更有趣的话，其实是可以善用一些片语的。所以这边用到一个字 ，flavor。Flavor your conversation. This flavor, 当然这边当动词，就是加味，让你的对谈内容加上一些味道。好，那我们就来学学这一些片语。这边一开始呢，就提到 go bananas。当你说 go bananas， 其实它有两种可能，一种呢是好的，一种是不好的。不好的就是你会觉得很生气；，另外一个比较好的正向的，哇，就是充满着热忱。好，那我们看 enthusiasm 这个字就是代表热忱，它下面就提到了它的起源，其实是从另外一个片语叫做 go ape 演变而来的。那我们知道 ape。这是猿类，猿猴类的。那这两个片语，其实想一想 ，go ape， 猴子吃香蕉，大概大家大脑里面会有这样的印象。所以说，这两个片语 ，go bananas 跟 go ape 有关系，好像也是自然而然的。那这边有一个用法要知道的，就是考虑到这两者。Apes 跟 banana 之间的关系，这边有个字就是 given， given the association， 考虑到。不过他后面就提到后者这个片语的来源到底怎么来的，大家就不太清楚了。好，后者 the latter， 当然 the latter phrase 讲的也就是 go ape。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, let's continue with our lesson again. The subject of today's lesson is ways to flavor your conversation with fruit and vegetable idioms. So so far, we've talked about some idioms that you can use with the word banana to go crazy or to go mad is to go bananas. I also mentioned to go nuts. That's similar. And now we're going to talk about something called top banana,、uh, which、uh, basically refers Refers to the best of the bunch here, as it says here. If you're the top banana, you are the best of the bunch. And now is a good time to mention that when you buy bananas, you will buy a bunch of bananas. Usually, if you buy them at Seven Eleven or something, they might sell you one or two. But usually, if you go to a fruit stand,、True. you'll buy a bunch of them. They're they're、uh, attached to together, and maybe you'll buy five or six in a bunch. So yeah, the measure word for banana in that instance is a bunch of bananas. And、uh, the best of the bunch is also an interesting phrase. Just that means you're the top dog. You're number one, the head honcho, the greatest person. 
Yeah, we use "best of the bunch" actually as a phrase, don't we? When,、uh, for example, a dog has lots of puppies, usually there's one that's the best of the bunch, healthier, probably a little bit stronger.、Uh, there are different reasons why people pick out different puppies in a litter. A litter of puppies is a group of puppies that are born. So, if you're the top banana, you're the best. You're superior to your fellows in some aspect. Uh, maybe they're talking about a group of kids who are all learning to play the piano, and the teacher says, "Yeah, you know, Eric is the best of the bunch. He、uh, practices more. He seems to be more、um, apt to、uh, to be, you know, someone who is going to pursue piano.、Um, usually, you have to practice if you want to be the best of the bunch." But、uh, superior just means you really are very, very good. You're the you're the best in the class.、Um, we'll often use superior though as a noun to talk about someone who is managing somebody who is lower. So if you're superior,、um, if you're talking about your superior is going to be on vacation next week, you're talking about your boss or your superintendent, someone who is managing your work, is also referred to as. Um, your superior. Not that they're better than you, but they have a higher level position where they can give you instructions and work to do. And、uh, since we mentioned the word superior here, we should talk about the person who is under the superior. That is the subordinate. Okay, you might have to look that up yourself. It's not the inferior. No, no we don't use that word in this instance.、Uh, in a different context, you would say superior or inferior. But、uh, if you're talking about someone's position in a company, then it's the superior and the subordinate. Let me、uh, spell that quickly. It's S U B. O R D I N A T E subordinate. There you go. Okay, but、uh, again, we're talking about, about bananas here. Yeah. But, 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 but we're talking about bananas、yeah. here. Yes. I wonder if there are some interesting tongue twisters with the word banana. Probably.、Uh, I don't know of any. I know there's one for peppers. You know, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. But here we've got bananas, and if you're the top banana again, you're the best of the bunch. You're superior to your fellows in some aspect. Okay, in some way, such as being the best student in a class or the top sales. Person on your team—that's the American、uh, way to say that. On your team, I'm on the team. I just joined the basketball team, so I'm on the team. In England, I believe they say you're in the team. A slight difference there. And this idiom dates back to a comedy performance from the 1950s. Okay, so comedy, of course, is when people say funny things and people laugh as a result. A comedian is a person who says those jokes. So this idiom, of course. Date back, dates back to a comedy performance. So here we've got the phrase to date back to. That just for, refers to a time in the past when something started. Yeah. So、uh, Tom talked about comedy. It's something that makes you laugh.、Uh, we talk about comedies if we want to go see a comedy as a film. There are different types of films, genres of film. There are dramas, comedies, action films, sci-fi. Uh, different types of film. So yeah, this idiom goes back to a comedy performance, and in the next sentence, it describes this performance as a sketch. We'll often refer to short comedy performances that last, you know, a couple minutes, five minutes maybe, as a sketch. So it's one long joke. Usually, it's between two people, two or more people. This one was from the 1950s. They had three comedians that had to share two bananas. Oh, good luck with that. The boss,、uh, supposedly, we were calling him the boss of the sketch, was top banana. While the straight man, the one who doesn't always have the funny lines that people laugh at, but you need a straight man in order to have a sketch that works.、Uh, the the straight man served him in the routine and was referred to as the second banana. The poor third performer got nothing at all. I wanted to mention quickly other a couple other phrases we use to refer to someone who's the best of the bunch. Or maybe maybe the leader is the top dog. We'll often say, yeah, he's top dog. Or if someone's in kind of the leader of a group, he's the head honcho. Honcho is actually a Spanish word. H O N C H O. We use that a lot too. Top dog, head honcho.
Uh, now that you mentioned Spanish, there, there's a phrase in Spanish that uses mangoes, uh, tener el mango en el sartén, which means to have the mango in the frying pan. But uh, actually, I forgot what that means. But in any case, I but guess we won't they, be teaching Spanish. Yeah, we today. will not be. I'll have to look that up myself. <laughs> but in any case, uh, yeah, it just goes to show that different languages uh, use fruit and vegetables in their idioms all the time. Totally. I'm sure there are plenty of them in Mandarin and Taiwanese as mm-hmm. well. So. There you got it.、Uh, there's the top banana. There、uh, in America, we tend to say the top dog, the head honcho, as Stephanie just said. Now here in the next. Portion of our lesson, we're talking about lemons.、Uh, we should mention first of all that in America, lemons are always yellow. Okay, here in Taiwan, I've heard people refer to lemons as green and maybe yellow as well. Those are lime. Yeah, lime. to us,、uh, yeah. the lemons are yellow and then limes are green. Okay, they are slightly different. Uh, They have a different、there. flavor too. Yeah, yeah different flavor,、yeah. etc. Lime is used oftentimes in in、uh, cocktails and stuff like that. I like limes better, for the record.、Uh, I do too.、Yeah. I, I actually like the taste of lime better. But、uh, we're talking about lemons here.、Yep. Lemons, of course, are sour. So this is something you definitely want to avoid doing, which means buying a lemon. You don't want to buy a lemon as an idiom here.、Uh, lemon is a slang term for something unsatisfactory. Factory, inferior, or worthless, and to me,、uh, the word lemon usually refers almost exclusively to a car. So, if you bought a really bad car, like oh boy, that car I bought was a real lemon. It was breaking down all the time. I should have bought a Toyota. They are more reliable. And it doesn't have to be a used car. It could be a brand new car. Or in my case, I bought a really bad new computer about three years ago. Oh no! And the very first week, I could tell I got a lemon. So yeah, usually we use lemons, like Tom said, for cars, but it could be for bigger things too.、Uh, buying a computer isn't cheap. So yeah, I got a real lemon, and it's been a mess ever since. I actually have already replaced the hard drive. I replaced the hard drive a year ago. So lemon, yeah, something that's not very good, and usually you're really disappointed because you bought, you thought you were buying something good. This descriptive phrase comes from slot machines. If you're a gambler, you know what those are. They're machines. You pull down the handle, and、uh, these pictures will rotate, and then. Um, match up or not match up, and if they match up, Bing, 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 you might win some money. Don't waste your money in those slot machines.、Uh, a lot of people, you know, think they're going to win, but ooh, doesn't happen very often. So descriptive just means it's an adjective, first of all, and it means you're actually.、Um, Giving someone、uh, a quality, you're kind of describing what it looks like. Description is the noun form of the word. Describe is the verb, but descriptive is the adjective form. It is a descriptive phrase because we actually have lemons in these slot machines, and I think I'm not a big gambler, guys, but I think if you get lemons, it's not good. Yeah, it's one. It's a machine where you put the coin in, and then you pull the arm, and then these、uh, pictures show up in the screen.、Uh, they're very common in、uh, casinos and stuff like that. So, indeed, this particular idiom is very descriptive because it's describing slot machines. And again, those wheels spin, and if you get some good pictures, you can get a lot of money back. And many of these pictures are fruits, and lemons are the least valuable fruit in the game. I guess they also. Have Have cherries as well, and then there's bar, 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 or something like that. I remember、like、an、that. apple, maybe.、Uh, could be apples in there as I well. I do have some advice, Tom.、Mm-hmm. If you see someone win at a slot machine, you do not want to go and use that slot machine right after someone wins big.、Mm. Yeah, it takes a while for the odds to、uh, accumulate. So don't go over to a slot machine that you just saw、uh, give somebody a lot of money back. Well, I'm not too worried about that because I don't gamble. It's a silly thing to do, and it's just something you should definitely avoid if you can. But that's another subject for another day. So so far we've talked about lemons and bananas, and next time we'll switch over to vegetables. So please join us then. But before we say goodbye today, we'd like to hear once again from our Chinese teacher.
。好，我们继续来看英文里面有趣的蔬果片语。我们先从水果类来看起。我们前面呢提到了 go bananas， 那跟 banana 这个字，这个水果有关的，还有一个就是我们这边学的 top banana。好，什么叫 top banana？ 当然，这个意思。从 top 就可以想见，它指的是最好的、最顶尖的。比如说，你就是班上最优秀的那一位。好，那我们知道，表示的是 you are superior to your fellows. Superior 就是高一等的。好，记得它后面的介系词是加 to。Superior to 就是比谁高上一等。更优秀。好，那这个片语怎么来的呢？好，后面就提到 this idiom dates back to 哦、oh, ，来 date back to， 这是一个很好用的片语。当然，这个 date 在这里是当动词，也就是时间的点，可以往前追，可以追溯到什么呢？ A comedy, he says, is from a comedy. Okay, this comedy of performing is in the early 1950s. So he mentions that in this comedy of performing, there are three comedians. Okay, the first one is in which he uses in which. In which. Okay, we understand that in which means comedy performance. That comedy of performing. 头好，那这个冠带使用要注意。那在这个里面呢，有三位喜剧演员啊、哦，他们呢要分享两只香蕉，两根香蕉。那这个短剧呢，它里头的主要人物就是 Top Banana。好，我们来看这个字 Sketch。的确 ，sketch 我们常常把这个字拿来当素描，不过在这里指的就是一个短剧。短剧里面呢，主要人物是 Top Banana， 而里头呢还有一个帮他的正经人物，就是 Straight Man。这个 Straight Man 是 Second Banana。好，那第三个呢，当然什么都没有。好了，我们再来谈最后这一个跟水果有关的。Buy a lemon. We know lemon is lemon, but when you buy a lemon, it means that you get the worst thing. That is, it is not a valuable thing. Okay, let's look at this word lemon. Why is it called lemon? Well, it is not a valuable thing. 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 It is not a Slot machines. 如果去赌城，大概呢玩这种游戏就了解哦，里面有些水果图案，对不对？好，其中呢，在这个游戏里头，柠檬就是价值最低的水果。好，我们今天的讲解就到这边结束，我们下次见。That is it for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and please join us again next time for another edition of our program. And we've got some information, and we will. Spill the beans to you then. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.